You are listening to Stream of Imagination from Perfect English with Danny. It's all about literature. Add a little bit of magic and inspiration to your English learning journey with Stream of Imagination. In this episode, I'm going to share with you two poems I wrote and a poem written by Shelley. I will start with a poem I wrote for my new poetry collection, Juno. The poem is called Come Take Away. Juno sees her father for the first time after she left home when she was only 16. Today she is in her 40s. She is rich. She is very powerful. Her father shows up in her house with a gun in his hand, ready to kill her because his pride and dignity just woke up. And this is what Juno tells him when she sees him in her house. Come take away. Come take away what's never been mine. It's young enough to lay waste, but old enough to bear your gun. Beyond the silky threaded skin are bloody trenches filled with parts that once belonged to one person whole. That girl you thought one day you knew is a girl from there has long been gone. Come take away what's never been mine. For whom do I fight and clench my fist? For whom do I die and cut my wrist? But for the woman in whom they all had doubts, I would have long surrendered and saved you all the trip and thoughts, all your naked principles they finally joined. As sisters, they wake up in the wrong era and sleep in oblivion all the time. Come take away what's never been mine, for love is dead and so is the sun, standing still, no light to tell. If all the rays rise from beneath, like heaven was once in just one place, and now it pours out down from hell. Look deep beyond the clear blue eyes, in which I do to look, just a shade, no more I have than what you do. You dare not look as you can see, nothing while there is life in me. The lifeless face you one day killed is all you see and comprehend. Come take away what's never been mine, and never yours or so you thought, for just having that fun one night you owed this flesh eternally. The life and dreams and all along, a woman you failed to see, it seems, a lonely pawn in a manly game. Tossing around you thought was chess. Come take away what a gun can take. Or leave, I promise, my heart won't break. Nor will this rock within your chest. For once, for free, for once, willingly. Come feel it pumping down my breasts. Like a miracle I have finally seen. But long before me there was you. Come feel it like an eagle's nest. From miles away I have seen you. Just leave before my babies wake, for then I will reach out and take and do what you came here to do. The piece of flesh you once forsook enslaved your world with what she thought, her weakest link as all foretold. I, Juno, have enslaved your world, all down to that woman I am. And now we will move to Shelley's poem Ozymandias. This poem is dedicated to anybody who thinks his or her power alone is enough to stand the test of time. Because that is exactly what happened to this traveler while he was traveling in the desert. Let's listen to this wonderful poem by Shelley, Ozymandias. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them on the sand, half sunk a shattered visage lies whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read to which yet survive stamped on these lifeless things. The hand that mocked them and the heart that fed, and on the pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look at my works, you mighty, and despair. Nothing besides remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, Boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. And finally, I will finish with the poem 
I wrote for the creative challenge I posted last week. The challenge was based on Botticelli's La Primavera. For those who didn't get the chance to listen to the creative challenge last week, it's episode 107. And there's a new challenge coming up this week. But this is my own response to the creative challenge. I wrote a poem. I wrote a poem inspired by Botticelli's La Primavera. And I called it La Primavera. La Primavera. Look at my face and run or flee. I'm as random as the thunder. Roaring down an apple tree, hitting the world from down under. For me it shaped that gravity I have been shaking so gently as far back as I remember. I'm not your hands to move so keen, to stir me up and down the strings. I thought one day I could redeem, little girl was told she had wings. Now feet in earth cannot be seen, and fingers wearied by your rings. Look at my face and go or stay. I did have every chance to leave. I thought there would be far away. Or so the stories used to weave. They said to serve you every day, and if you die on me, I grieve. My eyes without you could not shine. I thought I did not have a spine. Too many stories told the wind. Once my breasts were blooming young, but bearing like a fruitful spring. They came for me so dark at night, they stole a song that was not sung. I thought I could keep all my dolls and dreams until eternity. But life, it seems, is full of trolls, and so it is reality. They killed tomorrow and the past, they left me only with today. Not that nothing would ever last, but so I could not raise my head. Too late I leave, never too late. I should have lived out there instead. A nail a day that coffin sealed, bolted, secured, and choked to death. Only a few the fingerprints that did belong to killer's hands. It took me long, a life, to find the con hands of civility. I hope you like the poems I chose for you today. This is Stream of Imagination from Perfect English with Danny. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you in the next episodes. 